Hey guys, it's me again. Um, I'm kind of tired. I kind of didn't go to much sleep last night and I literally left my game on right back here. So the switch kind of cuts off on its own. So we're actually going to start right back where we left off and we have to go to the main room. Although this is pretty much the main room in my opinion. So if I remember, I don't have to, you know, I don't have to equip a bracelet in this version. The original version, this, you know, the sword and shield were all things you had to equip, but this time you don't. So you go up to a pot and you just press A like you're going to uh, use an item, but you can't when you're close to something. That lets you pick stuff up. Just remember that, okay? So whenever you need to think something can be moved, go up to it and press A and see if this props up, it works. Now, um, you're probably wondering. Uh, that is uh, over there and we are over here. So you can't hit it. And if you hit it while you're on a square, you'll be on top. But this is a technically a 3D game even if it was on the Game Boy so you can be a higher level if you're on already on top and what's in here uh oh another small key we are actually I think we have all the small keys we need let's check the map oh yeah I got the map so yeah it looks like a bottle probably why it's named bottle grotto but yeah I think I am stuck so I have to go back the way I go is right, the map said. So we're continuing. We're gonna lift this, throw it. And tactically, we could have done that. And that might have been a horrible idea. Hold up. I may have messed up pretty bad. Hold on. Yeah, that was my bad. Alright, hold up. Hold up. I am messing myself up here. There we go. That, that was kind of all my bad. Now, I'm trying to think, we got, oh, we're missing the compass, and I believe that is in a chest somewhere else, which, because we can't really find chests, but I know there's at least two chests left, one for compass, and one with a nightmare key, because, you know, we're getting, near, we're getting near the end, there's not much left to unlock, and we haven't got it, so it's, it's going to be close, and I believe, I remember, it's right down this way, go away, skeleton, bad, okay, so down here, okay, yes, yeah, so remember, do you remember, when, Let's see if you remember back when we found that one owl. Yeah, it said kill, I believe, a pose voice first. Which the pose voice, believe it or not, is the bunny. I know that doesn't really make much sense, but it's it's the bunny. It's the bunny. Doesn't really seem like a pose voice, but it is. Then we kill the skeleton. Okay, kill the skeleton, and then we kill the bat. The bat needs to get away because I might hit it. You literally can't kill them out of order, or it won't work. Stop it. Oh my gosh. Aha! That was the wrong order. All right, hold up a sec. We're about to. I can redo it, but so it's not pose voice. It's, I guess it's skeleton. Pose voice, bat. All right, skeleton. Pose voice. This is something, right? I'm gonna be very upset. Right. How how could you? How could you do this to me? There we go. That, hmm. Instead of doing, okay, that's not gonna be it. Okay, make pose voice last thing. So skeleton. Uh, bat pose voice. And the other thing I could possibly think is gonna be. Uh, I hate my life. Dang it. There we go. Why are you doing this? I'm trying to make a video and I don't remember this one puzzle out of every puzzle in the game. Alright, okay. So, bat. Pose voice. Skeleton. This doesn't work, I don't know what to tell you. Yeah. What do you want from me? Okay. What, 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 okay, you know what? I didn't want to do this, but I'm going to take the time out of my day to go back. It's literally right near here. Well, hey, it's a learning experience for me too, and I, I, I hate everything. I need to get some health because I really don't want to die now, especially when I'm getting in the zone. And when I'll tell you much later, I'm gonna have so many hearts and so much good defense. It's not gonna matter what hits me. Hold up, I need heart. I guess I'll get the powder. All right, so right back down here. I have to go through here first, but. You son of a gun. Alright, I'm actually dying. This is not good. Okay, hold up. Right here. 
Oh, where's the heart? I gotta get that before I die. Huh? Alright, now I feel safe to continue. So right here. And that staircase actually might lead to... Okay. Defeat the... Oh, so you defeat him first. Are you telling me I did every combination but that? Because that was the only one I could think what was left, but I just didn't... I thought I did something wrong. So, of course, Poise was first. We tried that once, but then we killed the bat last and not the skeleton last. Dang it. I thought that said earlier, kill bat, then skeleton, and then it just was like, you know, bat's next, but it wouldn't tell you. But no, it's actually, it said skeleton last. I'm just dumb. Hey, it's all right. We all learn stuff. I just kind of wish I would have known that ahead of time. So kill the post with first. I knew it ha I remember you always wanted to kill this first, and that's why I should have remembered. But get back and you get out of here. This is not the time, Matt. Come on, post A little bit more. Dang it. Okay, and skeleton last. We're going to kill the bat. All right. Why was that so hard for me? I did it. Thank gosh. I might. Next time I might have to think harder. Because I haven't played this in a couple, probably two years either. So, other than that. But I did this with, well, my friend Derek was playing it. I watched him do this. I just can't remember. He's on the third dungeon. So, yes. They're in here too. Now, I'm doing this to get some hearts. Because, like I said, if you jump on a Goomba, no matter what, you'll get a heart, which is very cool. We have to jump on him. You can't just kill him. It's a whole different thing. All right, we're going this way. We're going. All right. Luckily, we don't spawn back. Now I have three keys. I think I won't need to use them all, but I'm not 100% sure. Oh, now this. I know what this is. This is one of those kill all enemy puzzles. That's never too bad. Aha! Bad slime. Get out of here. Did it. I am so tired. I gotta keep playing. I wanna get this done. So this is so as you can see, weight makes these go down, right? But there's there's a little trick going on here, right? That one's normal, right? This one's not. This one's not normal. That is not normal. So what I'm gonna do is get that and stand. Yeah! Can't handle this much weight. But it, it does go back up, so I gotta hurry. I'm gonna have one more key than I need, because see, I'm here. This is it. And I am actually, I was up here, it moved me down here. It's cool. Alright, here we go. The boss door. It's Bottle Grove, so what do you think is in a bottle? Oh. What? Uh, it's a genie! I, I guess you would be the bad guy. You're the boss. Oh my god. Okay. So, he's a little bit, in my personal opinion, if you're not good at dodging, he is tougher than Moldra. But he's not as annoying because you, you won't fail unless you get hit. So, you literally just move from one and when you get up right here, you turn around and do short movements. Short movements. Now, this here, you hit it. But, like he says, I can't break it. You just can't move for a little bit, but you can't break it. I'm going to show you. Oh, but he's kind of giving himself away, as you can see. So, can't hit him like this. Just going to make it clear. And it only lasts a couple seconds. I want to show you how much. So, you got that much time, right? It's a lot of time, though. Yes, I know. I'm just showing the three year olds how to do this. Okay? It's not hard. Go over left, right? I mean, if you want to be cool, you can do that. But you kind of want to keep. All the way across the map from where he's at. Then just move all the way you can. Now, remember we got the bracelet. And it says you can pick it up. So, throw him against the wall, like he said. That's his own fault. And see, so he's getting a bit cracked. I think you have to do it three times. I'm not 100% sure. We'll find out. Let's keep as far back as you can. Heck, if you can get right next to the wall, you have much more time to do the turns. So, no. And then you throw. And, yeah. That's getting pretty cracked. I think one more time we'll get him. And unlike most, well actually almost every boss has a enrage form like I call it, kind of like Muldrum did at his last attack. This you'll see. 
There's actually phases to this one. Yaha! It's broken now. Oh, he's mad. He's enraged. Now, here's the deal. We can hurt him now, but he's going to be doing that, right? There's two of them. We gotta be ready, because one of them is real. And we wanna dodge his fireball and then go for it. What up? Yeah. You don't even have to worry about him tiring out from him. He's gonna hit, hit him. Just make sure you don't get hit when you're going for the hit. But... I recommend dodging the fireball first, and uh, wait for and now hit. You can hit him a couple times, or maybe just once. But he doesn't have eight health. I think it's four or six. But yeah, this is a uh, this is pretty simple. It's just a bit more stressful on the movement. Oh wow, I did hit him twice. I'm gonna say he had six health, and he's dead. We did it! Yay! Now hopefully, you've been following along. I will admit to not dying that dungeon. When I was like six, that I think I died a couple times, cause, but I think I only died to him. Like, I think I tried him, died, got a bit irritated, so I took like a week break. Then I came back and beat him on like my second attempt, cause I was already kind of irritated from that dungeon. You can bet it was a lot more complicated for someone who had no idea what to do. And see, now we got a heart container. Now we have five hearts, and don't worry, before we even get to the next dungeon, we'll be able to at least get six hearts. And that should definitely help you get through the sixth, third dungeon. Oh boy, it's a trumpet. Yay! Oh, it's a horn. I'm, I'm, I'm just dumb. Alright. Okay, fine. I see how it is. I see. Yeah! Happy music. Perry, Perry. You can pretty much guess where we're going. Yep, the Perry. Which I don't exactly know what that is, but it's I know in the game it's supposed to be a garden. So we're gonna go with that. Yes, he can eat, but if you didn't have him for some reason you could just lift that up and get out. Now you should probably bring Chain Shot back to the village. Well, I don't know how long that takes, but we'll go back and then, believe it or not, from here on out, getting to a dungeon, at least for the next couple, will be a lot longer than it was to, than it was before. Because heck, when you think about it, the first dungeon was go to a forest, get a sword, that was it. Technically, it's still just two things to do, but let me tell you, it's going to be a little bit longer every time. And you know what, I'm going to do you a huge solid before I end the video, because I think I'm getting near, so we're going to go up here. This is very special. First, I want to activate the fast travel. Well, never mind. You, this is actually a place where you just end up. Fast travel comes in the second row. This is very important. You go in here, and you talk to this uh, very pretty lady, I guess. Crazy Tracy. 28 rupees. It's not too bad a price, and you'll see why it's totally worth it. Uh, okay. Secret medicine. Oh yeah, and the first one's free, so we now got secret medicine, which we can get. I'm gonna get one every time we get to a new dungeon, just in case for you guys, or if I already still have it, you know, just come back here. If you ever use it, just come back here before you do a dungeon. It's totally worth it. And we're gonna go down real quick, because I want to show you the fast travel before I forget. So we'll be unlocking, because this map's pretty big, right? Like. We just unlocked the swamp and the cemetery, which we will do the cemetery right as where the bonus dungeon is. We will do it probably after the fourth dungeon. I want to get you guys a bit more prepared because it's not very easy, to say the least. So, I'm going to go down here and right here. See this weird platform? This is a fast travel. And, uh, unfortunately, we can't really fast travel anywhere else with it. It is activated, though. But if we go in it, it's just going to literally shoot us right back. Like, there's really no reason. So now, let's go over here. Give Bow Wow her, uh, uh, Mrs. Bow Wow, whatever her name is, back. And, uh, oh, there's, we can start, uh, I wouldn't do this yet. That might be a bit too quick. Because I'm trying to think for you guys and know what's easier and what's hard. There you go, Mrs. Bow Wow. Or miss whatever your name is. 
Madam Bow Wow, okay. What do you, what do you, oh. Okay, that's cool. We're gonna have Marin kiss me, but fine. Now, cool thing is, when she does do that, it gives you a, it refills your health, which is pretty cool, I guess. But I have full health, so there's really no point to it, which is upsetting. Right here, there she is. She's super cool. She's cool. She's awesome. Best girl. Now, I'm going to go... Oh, I never got to see Shell on this playthrough. I remember I died on the original video, so... Kind of didn't get to see Shell. I'm going to try to collect five of those, because if I remember, there's a piece of heart for five, and we're actually going near where we have to get them. I'm trying to think... Oh... I might as well get this out of the way. You're gonna be frustrated with this, but it's very it, well. It frustrates me. I don't know why it frustrates you. This is the trendy game. It starts the original Legend of Zelda fetch quest, and to start it, I have to get that Yoshi, and it's mandatory. Plus, there's a heart piece. So, give it a shot. It's not too bad. You get ten. All right. Okay, so you only get one chance of moving right and left. So we're gonna move up. And we're gonna. Oh, that's. Ooh. Ooh, no, that's not good. That's better, though. Let's see if it gets it. I wanna get this first. Ooh. Oh my gosh. How could you? Alright. Okay. Alright. Gonna try that again. I want Reverend to Yoshi or that, but I might have messed that up. Okay, you can see these are horrible. Okay, it's actually pretty good, that's good. Yeah, yes, this should be good. As long as I haven't moved it in the wrong way. Come on. Aha! As long as it doesn't slide out, we are okay. Everything is okay. Yes! That was the hard one. Now I just gotta kinda worry about Yoshi, which is a thing in itself. Okay, okay, here we go. Oh, oh no, it's a bit too late. Come on, come on, you can do it. You can do it, yeah, 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 come on. Yes, yes, Yoshi, you did it. I'm so proud. I'm so proud of you, Yoshi. You have no idea. I'm so proud. No, no, I'm not doing this ever again unless I think there's another heart container much later. But I hate this already. So now, this is the one item. Item. Okay, I hate my grammar. You can count how many games you've seen him. Yes, he's he's in a lot. Mario's been very represented, and he was part of Mario. Now, this. You will be happy. We now have six hearts, which personally I believe you guys could do it with six. I know I could do it with heck four. The next dungeon isn't too bad, but it's just for help. Yeah, the Yoshi doll. Our mom really desperately wants one. Now, their mom, he'll say, is right north up to the top of the village. And this starts the fetch quest. I'm going to end the video now. Because i done the trendy game and that was going to be the hardest thing, honestly, to me. Oh, that puzzle took a good minute. Okay. Have a good day and we will start the fetch quest and get ready for Dungeon Free in the next video.